Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, March the 6th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in this morning. And what a soaker we had yesterday. Let's take a look at uh, some Skycam imagery this morning. There's a look at Inverness, still cloudy. Uh, but the rain is over at Inverness. Uh, great shot uh, up at the Tennessee River at Decatur. Looking out over, I believe that's the railroad bridge over there. And uh, in the up position at the moment, it looks like either that barge behind it is just coming through or just came through. I'm not sure which. But anyway, uh, great shot. And how about a shot down in the south part of the state as we look uh, out from the battleship Alabama as we look out over Mobile. And, of course, they're cloudy as well. Cloudy skies across much of Alabama as uh, the cold front is moving through. That cold front, of course, in response to the upper level trough that is moving through the southeastern U.S. and should be on the uh, Atlantic coast uh, later today and into uh, the afternoon hours uh, as it, we uh, end up under a bit of a zonal flow and dry for a few days. And that'll be nice to have, although the rain has been wonderful. We certainly clobbered our deficit quite a bit. There's a look at the temperatures across the country. Look at that, 50s all the way up into the mid-Atlantic state. And this is at 5 a.m. So, wow, very, very warm for that part. But notice in Canada, oh, my gosh, look at the huge area uh, with uh, minus 20 and below. Whoa, burr. Still very chilly up there, reminding us winter is still around. North wind across central Alabama. It's going to be a bit breezy today with uh, cold air advection underway. So don't look for temperatures to... Uh, Get very high today. It looks like maybe about 54 or so for the afternoon high. Radar-wise, uh, most of the rain is out of the state of Alabama. A few uh, patches of light rain in the east central part of the state, but those will be out of the area quite quickly. Flash flood watches still in effect all the way from north Georgia all the way up into New England along with some winter weather advisories for the northern portion of, win of uh, New England. And we still have some uh, winter Storm uh, watches and warnings and advisories out in the Rockies with the next system headed our way. QPF-wise, much of the rain uh, with this system uh, uh, from uh, stretching from northeast Alabama all the way up to uh, New England. But um, a lot of that uh, rain will be coming with the next system uh, primarily on uh, Wednesday. Storm Prediction Center out looking for day three. Now, that's, uh, let's think about this a minute. This day three is, uh, I believe, Tuesday into early Wednesday, uh, covering parts of uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, a little bit of Mississippi, northeast Texas, and eastern Oklahoma. So we'll be watching that next system. Still some uh, doubts as to whether we'll have severe weather, but certainly we need to watch it uh, day four and beyond which is considered an extended outlook, did not include anything, but uh, they are watching, SPC is watching, and we'll be watching that as well. The uh, 06C GFS model run shows surface high pressure filling in behind 540 line, uh, behind that front, the 540 line dipping down to Memphis, and that's going to be dipping a little bit closer. On uh, Monday in the upper atmosphere, we go bit zonal, so not uh, a great deal in the way of temperature changes. On uh, Tuesday, we see the next shortwave trough coming our way that's going to be bringing us uh, kind of a changing day on Tuesday. I think Tuesday will be dry, but we'll end up with uh, storms on uh, Wednesday, give us uh, some, some uh, dry weather on Tuesday. Then uh, by Wednesday, uh, the trough is in our vicinity in the mid-Mississippi River Valley, and that, of course, gives us a... Uh, Surface low in the central part of the United States and a trailing cold front. So again, we'll be watching for the potential for severe weather. It, it's not real strong at the moment, but uh, certainly uh, something we will need to be keeping our eye on. Uh, yesterday, the trough was not uh, forecast by the GFS to get a lot stronger, but now the uh, GFS is forecasting uh, the trough to become considerably stronger on Thursday. And what does that mean for us? Well, that means the much colder air, the 540 line being forecast uh, all the way down to about uh, Clanton. Uh, so uh, some uh, pretty a pretty chilly day possible for Thursday. I'm a little concerned with uh, uh, how much the GFS has uh, forecast this. But again, this is out of ways yet, but we're forecasting cold weather for sure. Just a reminder that winter is still uh, with us. 
All right, we get back under a ridge on the 11th, Friday, and of course that means that uh, we will warm up just a little bit, so we get back to something akin to typical for this time of year. We stay a bit zonal on Saturday, and uh, we stay that way pretty much on uh, Sunday, a week from today, so that means that uh, we should be essentially dry, but moisture beginning to return uh, up the uh, into Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, so that sets the stage for, and we're dipping out into voodoo just a little bit, but sets the stage for another wet day uh, or some wet weather around uh, the latter part of Monday. Now, going even further and dipping our toes into the uh, longer range voodoo country, around the 17th of March, we see another strong trough coming through the flow, and that uh, certainly would set the stage for another round of strong to severe storms as well as some rain which of course we can still use and then uh, we get under a bit of a ridge on the 21st but that ridge also uh, in response to a very deep trough out over and very close to the four corners area uh, so that'll set the stage for something a little bit later in the month. And I do want to mention just very quickly that uh, yesterday, before the rains occurred at Birmingham, the deficit was around three and a quarter inches of, of rain. Uh, the last time I looked, the Birmingham airport had around an inch and a half or so. I uh, didn't check this or first thing this morning. So that means we cut the deficit by about half. So that that's good. And it does look like we're going to see some additional wet weather throughout uh, the rest of March. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. James Spann will be back with the next edition first thing Monday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Sunday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.